So I say to the guy, I'm going to burn down your house. I'm going to put my fist right through your fucking skull and watch you bleed out. And then I'm going to weigh your body down with rocks and throw you into the river. I'm going to film the entire thing, send it to your family, make your daughters watch it at gunpoint, and then kill them too. <laughs> and just like that, guess who was finally able to refund me my $10? Well, we're very glad we found you. You are our best chance to gain an understanding of what went wrong with the Peace Treaty of al -Hala. Historians have contrasting opinions of what went wrong during negotiations, but they all agree one person played a pivotal role in what unfolded. That person is your direct ancestor, the Cardinal Priest Alicidus, who nearly brought Christianity to the Viking invader single-handedly. Hear that, Rob? I said pivotal. All right, that's greatness. You can't teach that. All right, those are the intangibles. It's in my genes. That's my daddy's daddy's granddaddy before him, his daddy. All right, it's in my DNA. Yes. Your ancestor was regarded highly by all citizens, especially for his charitable work with impoverished children. You have kid-diddling genes. Sit here, we'll hook you up, and you'll be transferred into his mind. Remember, it is important that you try to blend in and act like your ancestor would have at the time. Are all systems right? I think we're good. Good luck. What the fuck is this? But you said that this is the way we can go to heaven if we're good little boys and you'd forgive us for our sins. Please help us. I don't want to burn in hell. What kind of a perverted fuck would do something like this? There's no way I'm related to this guy. Oh wait, now that's that's literally just me with a beard. Master Elicitus, you're needed. <laughs> Quick kids, go, go, go. Hurry, out the windows. Just jump. There's haystacks everywhere. Don't worry, I've played every... Okay, fine. I've played most of the Assassin's Creed games. I saw 20 minutes of the movie, okay? There's always a haystack. Just go. This place is crawling with pedophiles who want nothing more than to turn your juicy mouths into sweaty cock holsters. Now go! Yeah. What the hell do you think you're doing? No, no, no. I am not gonna f any kids, man. Alright? That's too weird. That's not what I signed up for. You were supposed to give them communion and leave. Not molest them. <laughs> When A, I knew you had kid diddling jeans, and B, everyone got to see how stupid you are on that monitor right there. So I wasn't supposed to, supposed to fuck no. them. No. All right. Well, if we're gonna point fingers here, right, you send me in with a bunch of kids on their knees right in front of me at cock level. I think you should just stop talking. All right. Don't fuck the kids. Got it. Going back in. Yeah. So uh, we're definitely gonna find someone else. I'll do it. Um... Woo! Everyone's using the Animus today! Okay, here we go. Fifty million dollar machine. Let's just keep running her back, baby. Wasting money. Here we go. Please, dear God, get me out of this machine. His f is hard. Oh, God. Uh, guys, come on, please, right now. And oh, let's now. see how this plays out. out. Now, now. This is a great opportunity for personal growth, all right? You gotta see adversity as opportunity. Well, I don't know. I've just been really stressed lately, and I promise it's not usually like this, but I, I just can't get out of my own head. Yeah, no, I, I get it. There are a lot more people that experience this than you might think. It's pretty common. Really? Yeah. I I mean, for me, it helps when you have, you know, someone that can help you along the way get there. Like, well, I don't know what you mean, but I just, every time I go to somebody, I can't get a heart on. No, yeah, it's actually easier if someone comes, like, when you're about to. All right, you need to leave. 